Hello, everyone, and welcome to another installment of how to use COCA to improve your academic writing. So today we're going to look at the keyword and context searches or quick searches as they are more commonly referred to. So just very briefly, what do quick searches do? Well, uh, they take whatever you search for and line it up in the middle of the screen. So this is very useful because you can easily see what comes to the left and to the right of your search term. This is really uh, important for determining appropriate uses of words and short phrases. And we can actually start to see patterns of use in both vocabulary and grammar. Um, so before I actually show you the, uh, the quick search function, you're going to see uh, something a little different than the other searches in COCA, and that is different color coding schemes. Like I have said in previous videos, COCA will tag the parts of speech in the corpus. In other words, it knows which words are verbs, which words are nouns, which words are adverbs, etc. So when you're doing a quick search, uh, it color codes these parts of speech so you can easily see uh, what part of speech might come directly before or after a search uh, that you have made. So purple will be verbs, blue will be nouns, green adjectives, yellow prepositions, orange adverbs, uh, and gray will be marking punctuation articles and uh, different conjunctions. Um, some, some of these colors are actually yellow can also be used for some adverbial phrases as well as, as what you might, as you, you will see uh, shortly. Um, so let's go ahead and I want to uh, use uh, just a couple of quick examples. Um, in addition and electromagnetic wave. So let's go to the corpus. Uh, you will see this little plus screen here by the search. Go ahead and expand that and click on quick, keyword in context. Just a quick note, um, this search function is most useful for multi-word phrases, common phrases. If you want to do a keyword in context search for a single word, there is a more appropriate search function and that is located in the word search function here. Um, so if you go there, you will be able to see keyword in context for a single word. It's a, just a little bit more efficient and um, and useful for single words. So I'm just going to search for in addition. And I want to limit this as usual to just academic. So as you can see, there's some color coding here. Uh, there's, uh, it lines it, the search term right in the middle. And again, this allows us to quickly see what comes before and what comes after. Um, First thing I notice right here, right away, I can see that usually uh, it seems one use of this phrase is in addition to something, right? So we have some kind of a phrase uh, added on in, to, uh, in addition, in addition to something, right? Um, I can see if I look to the left of this word that there is some punctuation. So I could see that this could occur at the beginning of a sentence. It could also occur at the beginning of a clause, perhaps. Um, so I'm going to scroll down to see if there's any other common uses of this phrase. And right here, I see, I see something that's a little bit different. So here is just a, uh, just a phrase and then followed by a comma at the beginning of a sentence. So this might be one of the uses that you could be more uh, experienced with in terms of using this as some kind of a transition or a logical connector uh, for your ideas. So we can see that, uh, you know, in addition, comma, uh, something, right? So um, this, uh, this is one way that this uh, tool could be used. Um, let me search for a different term. I'm going to search for, you know, a, just a, 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 a multi-word noun phrase. And uh, this might be useful um, to determine article use. Uh, one thing that can be somewhat uh, challenging for learners is whether or not 
a noun or a noun phrase needs an article. So uh, you can see here, there's not a lot of instances of this search in the corpus. However, there's enough for me to gain a clearer picture on, on some uses. So I can see right away that uh, I, I need to use an article. If I look at all of these search instances, I see at some point there is either an or the. And if I wanted to determine which is more appropriate, I might want to look a little bit more closely at those examples to determine uh, when is it more general and I should use an, and when is it more specific when I should use the. So these are just two uh, quick instances of ways that we can use the quick search function to determine some proper vocabulary and grammar use of search terms. Uh, and it allows us to quickly see uh, what is coming before and what is coming after our search terms.